to my channel. Today we have another first impressions try on review of this palette. Ta da! This is Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice. So if you are new to my channel, this is where I try to put all the shades I possibly can on my eyeballs from the palette. And this is what the inside of the palette looks like. And I do have an extra palette here. This one is gonna go into the summer giveaway. So if you're watching my videos, paying attention to little spoilers of what's gonna be in it, this is definitely gonna be in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these and I'll be right back. Okay, so those are the colors swatched. I'm not gonna lie, I've got some mixed feelings just from the swatches. I, I don't know what to really think yet until I put them on my eyeballs, but we are going to go ahead and get started and I don't know, yeah, I don't see names. Oh, it, the names are on the back, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, pay attention to the names because that's just the way I am. So the first color I am going to go with is this one right here. So the next one I am going to go with is this one right here. Okay, so now I am going to go in with the, this shade and then this shade. Okay, so now I think I am going to switch gears and go in with this color here. Because I think those are too much alike. I think I'm gonna just go in with this darker brown. I was gonna use this one, but I think, I think I'm just gonna go in with this color right here. I'm like trying to decide here, how do I wanna do this? I think, I'm going to go in with this sparkly color right here. All right, so now I think I'm going to go in with this white one here. It's actually very sparkly. You just can't see the sparkles on camera. to do the under eye work. I'm going to start out with this sparkly pink one right here. Now I think I'm going to go in with this blue color and this green color. this and I like it but I want a little more sparkle so I am going to go in with this really light one to brighten underneath my eyes. Okay I think that does it with the eyeshadow. I could probably put more on but I really don't want to so I'm going to stop there before I ruin my eye look and I'm going to go in with liner. I'm going to use the Nor by Autonomy for the bottom one. I always choose the pencil for the bottom liner just because it stays better for my eyes. And I think I am going to use Josephine for the top. I've wore it off, but that's what I'm going to use.
liner is done. Now we're moving on to mascara. Today I am using Thrive Cosmetics right here. This is the Liquid Lash Extensions and that is what I'm using. Lashes are done. Now I'm doing some lip. This is Fenty So Chill. Okay, so I'm going in with Fenty Super Moon. There we go. There it is. And yeah, I really went overboard with the lipstick like layers of it, but that's okay. I love the way the lips wear. I wear it a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the palette, not my lips. So let's see, how many colors did I use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve out of, I believe it is four, eight, eight, sixteen. So I used about ten out of sixteen. So I think I did pretty good. There you go, see all the colors? very very pretty so my thoughts on this now I have another Fenty palette that I use on occasion but I don't use it a lot because it's all shimmers and something about shimmer formulas don't necessarily stay on my eyes very well as you can see I have lots of stuff going on in my eyes but when I open my eyes it all goes back into the crease and with with certain formulas of shimmers when I open my eyes like that the shimmers just somehow all wear off and all get stuck in the crease of my eyeballs even with an eye primer. Don't know why that is. You know, something about my com body chemistry and the formula just, it doesn't do well. So I know that I'm kind of on the fence about the shimmers. I have never actually wore the shimmers on top of another shadow, a matte shadow. So I don't really know how that's gonna wear. But as far as wearing, trying all the other colors for the first time, I'm really in love with them. I love the, the way they applied, the blendability. They were very much so buildable, pigmented, all the wonderful stuff, didn't experience fallout. So definitely worth the money for this. And that's pretty much all I can say about it. And again, pay attention for my summer giveaway for 2020. It is going to have one of these palettes as well. So there you go. If you like this video, do not forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I hope to see you in my next video.